congratulations. Your dissertation on Shakespeare, MSN, and death has been accepted, and you will be graduating this June. Thank you, Professor. Have you heard from any of the schools where you interviewed for an academic position? Yes, one of the searches has been closed because of budget cuts. The other one selected a different candidate, a specialist on Milton, Emerson, and death. What are your plans for the coming academic year? I have applied for several adjunct positions. Fortunately, there are many institutions of higher learning in the area. In what disciplinary areas did you apply? All of them. Most were positions teaching introductory writing for students who are not ready for college. Well, that's good, since you have taught courses of that kind for several years at our university. Yes, I am fortunate to have a great deal of introductory teaching experience in addition to my years of research on Shakespeare, Emerson, and death. Yes, we are pleased with all the fine work you have done for our university. For example, I have not heard a single complaint from any of the students whose exams and papers you graded all these years. I understand that all of them are excellent by virtue of attending this university and have recognized their work accordingly. Do you think I could obtain a position at this university next fall, as a teaching assistant? Oh, I'm sorry, no. We only employ people without terminal degrees to assist our courses. You mean that I am no longer qualified to teach here once I have completed my degree, even though I have been teaching here, sometimes independently, for eight years? Yes. But if I do not get several adjunct positions and some other source of income, I will not be able to pay my rent. And my student loan payments will be due in about six months. Now might be a good time to tap into your trust fund. I do not have a trust fund. Oh. Do you not have a partner who can support you? I did. He left last spring for a teaching position at a community college in Juneau, Alaska. That is unfortunate. Well, there are government assistance programs for which you can apply. Also, I understand the history department is looking for a receptionist, part-time. I understand it pays more than any of the teaching assistantships we provide. But I know there are several excellent high school students who have inquired about it. It does not matter. I am going to be a college professor. I have worked too long to become a receptionist no matter what it pays. Then you must continue to work as an adjunct while preparing your dissertation for publication by a major university press, attending conferences all over the country, networking, and making a name for yourself. But you must accomplish that within two years or you will be stale goods on the market. That is what I will do. I am going to become a college professor. Now, more than ever, I have profound thoughts about death. Just remember, there is always room in the profession for talented people who work hard. And never ever read those odious, ill-informed, dishonest essays by Thomas H. Benton. I will never give up, even if I have to work as an adjunct for 20 years. The life of the mind is too important to me. That's good. Now excuse me, please. I have to give an orientation talk to some prospective graduate students. This may be the largest class we have ever admitted. Thank you for your time, Professor. It has been an honor to learn from you. And I promise never to read anything by Thomas H. Benton. <laughs>